How will the Earth change when all ice melts? What would happen if a dramatic surge of climate change were to melt all of the Earth's ice overnight? This intriguing what-if scenario delves into the potential consequences of such an event, exploring the impacts on sea levels, ecosystems, weather patterns, and human civilization. As we examine the effects of this hypothetical situation, we gain valuable insights into the urgent need to address climate change and its far-reaching implications for the future of our planet. The raise in sea level and its consequences for coastal areas. The rise in sea level is the most significant and immediate effect of the melting of glaciers around the world. The melting of glaciers and ice sheets in Antarctica and Greenland, as well as glaciers in other parts of the world, contributes to the flow of enormous quantities of water into the oceans. According to some projections, a total loss of ice might result in an increase of around 216 feet in the global sea level over the course of time. This would have a devastating impact on coastal regions and islands that are low-lying. Cities and villages in their entirety would be obliterated, displacing millions of people and generating unfathomable difficulties on both the economic and humanitarian fronts. Erosion and flooding of coastal areas would become widespread, which would result in the destruction of essential infrastructure, agricultural land, and freshwater sources. It would throw off the coastal ecosystem's delicate balance, which would have a negative effect on marine life, birds, and other animals that are dependent on the coastal habitats. Disruption of ocean circulation and weather patterns. The melting of ice leads to the creation of cold, dense seawater, which is a crucial driver of ocean currents. This disruption in ocean circulation might have a significant impact on weather patterns. The disturbance of these currents has the potential to cause changes in the weather patterns of both the region and the entire planet. Alterations in the circulation patterns of the oceans may cause adjustments in the patterns of precipitation, which may result in more intense and frequent occurrences of extreme weather events such as hurricanes, heat waves, and droughts. Agriculture, water supplies, and communities that are already struggling might all suffer irreparable harm as a result of this. Furthermore, the changing ocean currents may destabilize marine ecosystems, which may in turn have an effect on the migration patterns of fish and have an adverse effect on fisheries, which are an essential source of food and income for a large number of people all over the world. Loss of biodiversity and disruption of habitat. The melting of ice poses a major threat to polar and cold adapted animals that rely on ice-covered settings for their survival. This could result in the extinction of some of these species. The loss of habitat poses a grave threat to many iconic animal species, including polar bears, penguins, seals, and walruses, among others. The extinction of these species would have a domino effect on the food webs and ecosystems found in maritime environments. In addition, the melting of the ice would cause disruption to the breeding and feeding sites of many migratory species, which would lead to a reduction in population and possibly even extinction. The loss of habitat for terrestrial species that live in the Arctic and Antarctic areas, as well as those that are dependent on glaciers, would make the current crisis affecting the world's biodiversity much worse. Water scarcity and quality concerns. Despite the vast amount of water that is flowing into the oceans, it is possible that many locations may face water scarcity as a result of the melting of fresh water that is held in ice. This is a paradox. Meltwater from glaciers is an important source of water for many different societies, particularly during the dry season when glacier-fed rivers supply the vast majority of the available water. Because there will be less fresh water available, competition for water resources is likely to increase. This increased rivalry could result in disputes and further exacerbate already existing social and geopolitical tensions. Additionally, the melting of permafrost and glaciers could unleash stored pollutants, which could possibly contaminate water supplies and pose threats to human health as well as to ecosystems. Socioeconomic Implications The effects of melting of ice all over the planet would have an effect on economies and societies all over the world. Significant disruptions would be in store for coastal communities and businesses that are dependent on tourism, fisheries, and shipping. The expenses of insurance and investments in infrastructure to adapt to increasing sea levels would create significant financial burdens on both government and private sector organizations. 
The displacement of large numbers of people from their homes as a result of rising sea levels would put a strain on available resources and lead to humanitarian disasters. The disappearance of natural wonders and sites with iconic status, such as glaciers and icebergs, would have an adverse effect on tourism and cultural heritage, which in turn would have an adverse effect on local economies and cultural identity. Conditions of the atmosphere and climate The melting of ice and glaciers has profound implications for the global climate and weather patterns. Ice and glaciers play a critical role in regulating the Earth's temperature through a process known as the albedo effect. The albedo effect and ice melting. Albedo refers to the ability of a surface to reflect sunlight. Ice and snow have high albedo values, meaning they reflect a significant portion of the incoming solar radiation back into space. This helps to keep the Earth's temperature relatively stable. However, as the ice melts, the exposed darker surfaces underneath, such as ocean waters or bare land, have lower albedo values and absorb more sunlight, contributing to further warming. Positive Feedback Loop and Global Warming The process described above leads to a positive feedback loop. As temperatures rise and ice melts, more solar energy is absorbed, causing further warming. This, in turn, leads to more ice melting, perpetuating the cycle and amplifying the greenhouse effect. Accelerated climate change. The accelerated warming resulting from the positive feedback loop has far-reaching consequences. It can lead to the melting of additional ice and snow, including the permafrost in Arctic regions. The thawing of permafrost releases large amounts of methane and carbon dioxide, potent greenhouse gases, into the atmosphere, further contributing to global warming. Changing landscapes. The transformation of Earth's landscapes due to the melting of glaciers would indeed be profound and far-reaching. As the ice recedes from the polar regions and mountainous areas, several significant changes would take place, impacting both the environment and human activities. The Arctic and Antarctic regions are known for their vast expanses of ice, snow, and unique ecosystems. If the ice were to melt, these areas would undergo a dramatic shift. The disappearance of ice sheets and glaciers would expose the underlying land, revealing tundras and grasslands. While tundras are characterized by permafrost and low-growing vegetation, grasslands could emerge in regions where the climate allows for such growth. The altered landscapes would have implications for the animals and plants that inhabit these areas, as their habitats would change significantly. Mountain ranges like the Alps, the Andes, the Rockies, and others are famous for their awe-inspiring glaciers and snow-capped peaks. With the melting of glaciers, these mountainous landscapes would lose their distinctive features. Glacial valleys would no longer be filled with ice, and the iconic ice fields that feed glaciers would diminish or disappear. This transformation would have consequences for water resources as many communities rely on glacial meltwater for freshwater supply during dry seasons the importance of taking action. The potential repercussions of the melting of the world's ice highlight the importance of taking strong and urgent action to address climate change. The reduction of emissions of greenhouse gases, the transition to renewable energy sources, and the implementation of sustainable practices are critical actions that must be taken in order to contain the rise in global temperature and slow the melting of glaciers. To better prepare communities for the effects of climate change, adaptation strategies need to be prioritized. This is especially important for the most vulnerable populations living in low-lying and coastal areas. Cooperation on a worldwide scale and dedication to the implementation of multilateral agreements, such as the Paris Agreement, are essential components of an effective response to the current global problem. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.